At 7 p.m., people all over Baltimore are getting ready for a night at Hammerjacks. Craig Wilson, a Hammerjacks regular. You go there, and there's girls, you know, dancing, they're dressed really sexy. Heather Swazicki, another regular. It's the biggest party around, yeah. Lizzie Hartlove, another regular. Twilight was loud, wild, you see everything there. Rose Backman, a bartender, gets ready. It was big, loud, scary. <laughs> Tom Perry, the general manager. Oh, it's absolutely wild. Child's play, tonight's band. And Louis Principio, the owner of Hammerjacks, who says the reason he started the club was... Total insanity. <laughs> At 10 p.m., it's time to party, to walk in the door and have Hammerjack smack you right in the face. All of a sudden, you're in, well, you're in Hammerjack, pal. What do these people do during the day? Good question. Craig is a construction worker. Heather works for a medical laboratory. And Lizzie is a bartender. What draws them here, and probably draws most people here, is that they get a chance to let loose after a day's, a week's worth of work. It's a place where you release everything. You can be yourself. You know, I don't go there and ever talk about work. It's just flat out high energy rock and roll. Energy. Hammerjacks, now 12 years old, is a very large nightclub. Two, really. Louie turned an abandoned beer warehouse into a series of bars and dance floors. They call that the club side. And a concert and dance hall, the concert side. Come on now, honey. 14 bars, we about 26 bartenders. We do close to 3,000 customers through the door on a Friday and Saturday night. Then there are the contests. During the week, usually every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, it's how much flesh can you show and still stay within the law? The answer, a lot. At midnight, the girls are dancing on the bars. It's rock and roll, and if you were to make something that by itself represented all that rock and roll means in America, it's Hammerjacks. It's so perfect, they ought to move the whole thing into a museum. Building band, bouncers, dancers, bartenders, beer and all. And label it rock and roll near the end of the 20th century.